I was allowed to do what I did. Absolutely allowed. That's Why didn't you just hand them over when they were requested, though? I mean, they requested them. You could have just handed them over. It probably I was saved yourself a lot of trouble. First of all, I didn't have to hand them over. But second of all, I would have done that. We were talking, and then all of a sudden they raided Mar-a-Lago. Donald Trump showing once again that he truly believes he is above the law, claiming at a town hall on Fox News last night that he was allowed to take classified documents with him when he left the White House and had zero obligation to turn them over, when in fact those documents belong to the government. Whether he intended to or not, the ex-president gave Jack Smith fresh proof that he wrongfully kept classified documents at Mar-a-Lago. Trump's comments come as tensions between Jack Smith and Judge Aileen Cannon could be coming to a head. Smith is expected to go to the 11th Circuit to possibly overturn two of Judge Cannon's decisions, including her decision to unseal the identities of two dozen potential witnesses. He has already asked for reconsideration of her decision. A piece in Slate today previews what could happen with that decision, saying it will be a, quote, dramatic ruling by Cannon. Either she reverses her position which would be an admission that she was fundamentally mistaken about the law, or she leaves her ruling in place, putting individuals in jeopardy and twisting the law to help Trump. At that point, Smith may have enough ammunition to seek her reassignment from the 11th Circuit. Joining me here at the table, MSNBC legal correspondent Lisa Rubin. Andrew Weissman is back with us. Do you buy that Smith could be contemplating having the case reassigned? I think contemplate is possible. Mm -hmm. Whether he is planning on it is a different story. And I think a lot hinges not only on how Judge Cannon handles his motion for reconsideration, but how she handles a couple of other things sure. that are sort of in the pipeline. One is, as Norm Eisen discussed in that piece you were just referencing, how she handles these Classified Information Procedure Act hearings that have happened behind closed doors. But another turns on this motion to compel that mm -hmm. Trump and the other defendants have, where they are trying to get additional discovery. And it turns out that the reason they want this discovery isn't because they're entitled to it as a part of their defense against the claims, but because they want to support a motion to dismiss for selective and vindictive prosecution, something they only admitted last week. So I think a lot turns on how Judge Cannon handle all of these things. There is some heartening news, Alicia, and how she's reacted lately. She told the parties last night that on these motions to dismiss, the Trump folks cannot file them publicly unless they have no redactions whatsoever. But she's not entrusting them to make the determination about what material in the motions needs to be redacted or sealed. She wants them to exchange it with the court and with the government first. That's unsatisfying to people like Andrew, you and me, who <laughs> want desperately yes. to get our hands on this. But I think it shows that she's proceeding with some caution. On the other hand, she's also told them, you can file each of these motions separately. Each one of them can be 25 pages long, and that will allow me to thoroughly deal with each one of them. You can imagine a scenario in which they are moving on multiple different grounds, some more frivolous than others, and yet compile a stack of paper this high because they're allowed a 25-page brief on each one, which could only elongate and further delay these pretrial proceedings. So I think some remains to be seen, but I was convinced by the Slate piece that they are building a case for her removal. Were you convinced, Andrew? I wouldn't go that far at this point. Um, I, I agree with Lisa that it really depends on how she rules. Um, She's already done something that was unusual, which is that she revealed um, information uh, and she, she required the government to reveal information about the identity of somebody who was under criminal investigation. Uh, and the government ended up complying with that. Um, the government, as Lisa said, has sought reconsideration with respect to identifying publicly the names of people and their statements that they gave to the government, um, giving the ideas that um, the government has said that should not be something that is put into the public realm. It is something that's known to the Trump camp, but this shouldn't be made public because they've seen what has happened to witnesses uh, like Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss with respect to E. Jean Carroll and many, many other people who are subjected to harassment up to and, in, and including death threats. Um, and so the government is trying to protect those witnesses and the truth-seeking function of the trial. 
that is where there is this back and forth and a motion for reconsideration. Um, there is no question in my mind that if Judge Cannon does not reverse herself, that um, Jack Smith has to take that yes. up to the 11th Circuit. Why? Because it has to do with the safety of witnesses. That is why you go into the government. You go in to make sure that trials are truth-seeking, that people are not harmed um, by doing their um, their duty to the government and then trials. So that is one where if she does not reverse herself, it will go to the circuit. It is hard to imagine that the circuit would not reverse her. Remember, this would be this would be three times a charm because the, this, you know, there's already been two times that the 11th Circuit in conservative panels have issued what could only be described as scathing rulings um, against Judge Cannon. Um, and so in that connection, it is possible that Jack Smith seeks to have her recused. I think that at this point, it's speculative um, to know what he would do. It is also possible that the 11th Circuit will do something that happens, I won't say routinely, but you do see happen, which is sort of a polite recusal, um, where the court decides against the trial judge and then says, um, just for the appearance sake, this is going to be reassigned to someone else. Um, and nobody actually moves for recusal, but the court sort of does it as quietly and as politely as possible. I would think that the, if this happens for a third time where the Court of Appeals um, is reversing Judge Cannon, either because Judge um, the court does it on its own or Jack Smith um, actually moves to recuse, you could see what it is um, that is being reported coming to fruition. But we just don't know enough right now to make that sort of prediction. Lisa, when it comes to those comments from Trump last night that he was allowed to do what he did with classified documents, if you were Jack Smith, your ears perk up. Yes, although it's not unlike things he said in, in the past, and he sort of says it in a word salad -y bingo sort of way, right? Like code words of the Clinton Sox decision, and they were my documents. He completely misreads that decision having to do with former President Bill Clinton that had to do with diaries that he took during his time in the White House to memorialize conversations with someone with whom he planned on writing an oral history. That decision turns on the status of those documents as diaries, not the fact that they were presidential and therefore he got to keep them. But I think Jack Smith obviously is sort of building a library full of Trump admissions. Andrew knows better than I do that admissions of a party opponent are always admissible, irrespective of whether they're said out of court or in court. So I think Jack Smith is building that. I want to respond to something, though, that Andrew said that I think is really important. The, sec uh, the 11th Circuit has ruled against Judge Cannon now twice in what he described accurately as very scathing opinions. And that's why I think reconsideration is not out of the realm of possibility. Better to correct yourself than have a circuit smack you down for the third time. And a good judge will issue a reconsideration of a prior opinion. I clerked for a district court judge, as you know. During the very early months of my clerkship, I went to the judge and said, I think we got this wrong. There's a motion for reconsideration. And to my surprise, rather than being angry, she said, I agree. And she issued that opinion, reconsidering her own motion and finding that her prior decision was in clear error. I'm not holding out hope that Aileen Cannon will do so here, but a good judge takes a motion for reconsideration seriously. Happy to have